Calgary, the founder of the city's largest urban farm says he's at a crossroads due to a government construction project. On one hand, Paul Hughes says, he's grateful for the land he's been leasing from the Alberta government for the past five years to build and maintain the 11-acre, non-profit urban farm, called Grow Calgary. Grow Calgary founder Paul Hughes says he and the staff at the urban farm are ready to move to a new location when needed but he wants a face-to-face -face meeting with infrastructure ministers Sandra Jansen, Evan Radford, Star Metro, at the same time, he says. He hasn't been given a clear answer as to why the province needs to use all of the land, part of which is marked as surplus, for a roadway project, we're just asking some questions right now, we're not fighting the move. We have a good working relationship with the government, Hughes said. The land sits on the southwest side of the intersection of Stony Trail NW and the Trans-Canada Highway, west of Calgary's Canada Olympic Park. Article continued below part of the farmland is on a transportation utility corridor, which the province intends to use to complete part of Calgary's West Ring Road project. It will link the under construction Southwest Calgary Ring Road and the existing Northwest Stony Trail. Read more, Calgary's Ring Road gets green light for final phase as manager and overseer of Grove Calgary, Hughes received a letter dated July 5 from the Infrastructure Ministry, informing him that the farm needs to be moved off of the leased land it occupies. Hughes said he and his team are preparing to make the move, we're simply asking the question, do you need 100% of it when only 20% is being affected, so we haven't received any answers on that yet, Hughes said. The province's infrastructure ministry estimates that the ratio of transportation utility corridor land to surplus land needed for the project is closer to 1 to 1, rather than the 1 to 4 ratio Hughes suggested. Grow Calgary was made aware at the beginning of their lease that this land may be required for its primary purpose of providing a location for the ring roads and major utilities, a statement from the ministry says, we appreciate. Grow Calgary's urban farming activities and are working to identify a new location and support the moving of their operation. Article continued below the non-profit farm grows produce for social agencies that have food access programs in Calgary. Our ultimate goal is to ensure that all residents of Calgary, especially those who are vulnerable and living in poverty, have consistent access to healthy, local food, the farm's website states. A spokesperson for the ministry said the government will help with logistics and costs incurred when the farm moves to its new plot of land. By late Monday afternoon, Hughes said he was starting to see some progress on that front. He said the infrastructure ministry told him it has selected four possible parcels in the city for the farm and he'll likely be happy with the options available. With files from Brennan Doher, Yvonne Radford is a reporter, photographer for Star Metro Calgary. Follow him on Twitter, at Yvonne Radford.